is good TPA podcast. It's your boy Big Holly. We are back with another episode, and we got the boy. Hey, your boy T in here. Auntie's mom's. It's summertime, sundress season. Hey man, listen. Um, Tion's paychecks have went crazy. He bought us this building. <laughs> All right, so now we're outside. He roasted Kendrick fans, and now we're on top of the world, man. We're on top of the world. Yes, yes. Also, before we go any further. It's Big Hollow's birthday. Oh, yeah, it's my birthday, man. We're recording this. Y'all are going to see this a day after my birthday. So if y'all want to say happy birthday, say um, happy birthday. I don't have Cash App. So we'll we'll put his Venmo or PayPal. Well, PayPal. We're going to put that on there. Yeah, down below. Sub, yeah. Subs to the channel. Sub to all of his channels. Yeah, facts, facts. You know, subs to the channel. Need, man. And honestly, need. when you go to sleep at night, Put one of his videos on and just let it oh, run. Oh, yeah, just let the, just let let the people of Atlanta run while just you sleep. Just let it run. Let it run. But you went to, um. Yes. You went to Gunner's concert. How was that? Gunner made a statement in okay. Atlanta. He made a statement. He's back. I don't think we've ever seen a comeback bigger than this, honestly. A lot of people go through go through hell and kind of, you know, stay a little messed up. Yeah. But for him to beat the snitch allegations, because guess who was front row? Young Thug's oh, young, dad. Yes, that's crazy. He's beating allegations. And the first song he stepped out to was back in the A. That went crazy. Oh, for real? It was so crazy. It was so crazy. I got some highlights too, if we if we can. Now you made a claim shit. though. What was that claim that you Oh, made? he might be the greatest. The greatest rapper to the greatest rapper in his like lane. Lane. Okay. To, I was to come say out Ludacris of the Ludacris and T. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. When, when it comes, it's different. Like, I don't know if we can consider Gunna. Is that is that trap? That's not trap, is it? Trap melodic, I guess. Yeah, maybe? trap melodic. He is the best to come out of Atlanta. Okay. He's. I'm about I'm about to make a claim here, but right now. Okay. Gunna's better than Future. I would say so. I th I think Gunna got more solo motion than Future right now. Oh, for sure. I think if we take away what a time to be alive, and some of those projects Oof. that he did um, with other artists, I think Gunna might have him beat catalog wise mm -hmm. his solo Recently. yeah his solo projects are crazy i haven't i can't name a bad gunner song mm. i might get so, 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 so who you who, who, you, who you taking gunner's last album or don toliver new album <sighs> i know you're a fan of both so i, I love see. both it's hard like it just depends on my day like one day i'll be in a gunner mood and that's all i listen to i listen to the yeah. album top to bottom but like Don dropped Friday, and I can't lie, it's still setting in on me. Like, Don dropped a great project. Bro, Attitude <laughs> might be one of the best. That Could that be Song of the Summer? That Pe People trying to give Not Like Us Song of the Summer. Let's be honest. I, I can't even say Two that. Two more weeks, it's it's out dropping of out of rotation, man. I think Sexy Red. Oh, yeah. My, Sexy Red, the one with uh, Drake, uh, You My Everything, that might be the Song of the Summer. I ain't going to lie, bro. It's so catchy. When it first came out, I know a lot of people was like, ugh. Yeah. But, like... Yo, I be walking around Atlanta and people be singing it. Man. Yeah, like you go, you gonna hear it. Like, it's the perfect Atlanta summer song. Yeah. Like you play that in the club, oh, it's going crazy. It's definitely going crazy. You have all the girls screaming that first part. Yeah, I think, I think for sure, it's a tie between attitude and um, yeah, you might everything. Ooh. We got. There's gonna be one more song. Drake's supposed to be dropping another song. Yeah, and he's he's gonna drop a. Um, Bachata song in a minute with yeah. old girl song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, what's the girl's name? Camilla. Ka uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Her. I don't know her name. But... Either it was her or somebody else. But yeah, nah. Drake. I think Drake's gonna come drop another song that's gonna give us another summer. Drake always gives us summer anthems. He got a um a video recorded. Yeah. Yep. Ah. What's the video? Out, out in Texas. <laughs> He got his dad in the video, got some horses in the video. Oh, new I did crib see. in the video. His son too. His son yep. was involved. Oh, another hot take. Cause I saw this on Twitter the other day. Doja Cat might be the best female artist we have right now. Facts. Not gonna lie. <laughs> She's definitely I think when it's said and done, Doja Cat will be better than Beyonce. I said this like two years ago. I think when it's all said and done, Doja Cat will be more iconic than Beyonce. You know, I'm not going to disagree. I like I like Doja a lot. I like Doja a lot. And she's more like, what's the word? I feel like she's more relatable yeah. than Beyonce. Beyonce is on a whole nother level right now. Yeah. Doja, she's like, she's on another level. She's international for sure. Mm -hmm. But she's still going to be, like, bro, she was in a club. Yeah. Just vibing, vibing out the music. 
You'll never see Beyonce do that. I, I think like um, Beyonce has some anthems. Single ladies. Oh, for sure. Uh, Ring the alarm. She got some bangers. But I think Doja is just more digestible to the masses. Right. I think right? Say So is probably one of the biggest songs yep. we've ever heard. I think it's Diamond already, right? Yeah, now? easily. Yeah. Say So. I'm, I'm going to be honest. My homeboy Dominique put me on uh, Doja Cat. Shout out to you. Uh, father on the way. Also, he's about to be a dad. Shout out okay. to you. Anybody but that's about to be that? Never mind. Go ahead. <laughs> relax. Go ahead. Relax. Father on the way. But nah, he put me on Doja Cat like four or five years ago. Okay. And like he was like, bro, Doja is gonna be the biggest artist, a biggest female artist we ever see. And I'll be honest, she's on track because I can't think of a bad Doja song. Bro, Doja got some of the most fire songs, like Streets. Bro, when Doja Hits. dropped a Final Fantasy line, <laughs> it was raps. She, she was got the greatest streets, of all time. Say so. Agora Hills is crazy. Yes. Um, and to be honest, people be trying to throw Cardi B and Meg The Stallion and some other people. Bro, the only person that raps, that competes with, with uh, Nicki Minaj is Doja Cat. That's it. Oh, yeah, for sure. They're, they are D2, right? Yeah. It go, it's going to go Nicki Minaj, Legacy. You got the little bubble of Cardi B, the one album she dropped, and people are trying to call her a legend. Look, I think she got a Grammy for that, didn't she? Yes, Car Cardi, that album was amazing. No, it was right? for sure. But people told me when Good Kid, Mad City dropped, not Good Kid, Mad City, when um, To Pimple Butterfly dropped, and I said, "Is Kendrick a legend?" People told me Kendrick Lamar cannot be a legend with only two albums. Right? Yeah. And my argument to them was, well, Biggie only had two albums. It was like, well, but blah, it's blah, different. Blah. But <laughs> Cardi got one album and people are saying she's a legend. How? It's just because how she Cardi went from the stripper to a successful rapper. Like, yeah. I think it's more so we love the story mm. as opposed to the music. Because, I mean, Cardi's also another one of those ones. She's very relatable. Like, yeah, you can you can catch Cardi out somewhere and she'll talk to you. Like, you'll have a conversation. You're not about to catch yeah. Beyonce out here. Yeah, and true. have a conversation with her. That's why I think she was put on that pedestal. And she she got high at the right time. Yeah. There was no other social female media artist. Era yeah. Bubbling. Like when social she dropped, media. she boomed. Like social media was booming at the time. So yeah. she she got she got her way right on time. Cause that was what 2018. Yeah. I think Cardi B. Don't get it wrong. I think Cardi B. Is an amazing act. Um, great stage presence, great feature yeah. run. Great feature but run. I just think she needs another album for us to be putting her in a category with top tier artists. Yeah. Cause what other top tier artists got one album and all the like, who? What other artists? I don't know. I don't, there's not many, there's no, not many artists that are out here that there's like- There's nobody else. Stamp the game. That people would say, this is a top tier artist with one album. Nah, nah. I think when Cole first dropped, it was like that. But he also had mixtapes. But, yeah, that. he had yeah. Born Center. Yeah. Um, uh, Friday Night Lights. Oh, I'm not saying. I'm talking about when he first dropped. When Kendrick oh. first, uh, not Kendrick. Uh, Cole first came out with uh, Sideline Story. Okay. Sideline Story is one of them ones, and it was like, okay, he's here. But see, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like people weren't calling him top tier yet. I think Forest Hill Drive, Born Center. I think that's when people established like, okay, he's about to be in the game running. Yeah. But I'm trying to think. I'm, I can't think of no artist. Are we gonna? <sighs> Roddy Rich was one of those ones. Roddy Rich dropped the second album though, and I feel like second that good. second album did um, the pub that did damage to his public persona. Yeah. Because people, it wasn't receiving. Yeah, like it, it wasn't one of those. It wasn't. But that Survivor's good Remorse song, boy. Yeah. That boy Roddy puts mad elbow grease. <laughs> All types of, he was cooking on that. Who do you think's had the biggest fall off in music in recent years? It would have to be 6 9 right? 6 9, Six nine definitely broke fell off. Instagram. Literally broke the whole He got the out whole of the trial, right? Yeah. Next video broke YouTube records. A year later. Where is he? I haven't even seen him post on the internet. Yeah. I think he's doing like Spanish music. I think he's popping in Spanish music. Okay, okay. But well, I mean, shit, that's as, another lane though. Yeah, you so. get that, ah, you got some stain for real. Yeah, facts. You make some good Spanish music and consistent with it, and I feel like that's the that's a good lane for him because right now, yeah. 
I don't think he's welcome back in the rap game for real. I just don't think it's digestible for the next set of people. Like nah. the, sh the the gimmick worked. I'm not saying it was a gimmick, but like the the show he put on worked. Yeah. But I think it's like one of them things you've seen it once. You see you've it seen again. it as much as you need to see it. Which leads me to my next question. Okay. What do you think like the best movie series of all time is? Best like, movie give me series. Your, give me your top five movie series of all time. I'm be honest. Bad Boys is one of them for me. Bad Boys is definitely. I didn't see the new one yet, but my. Cooking. It, I heard it was they, fire. Boy, fire. <laughs> okay. A lot of people are lying online about that. I'm going movie, to see bro. it this weekend, so I, I'm excited. So Bad Boys is up there for me. Friday, I love that okay. series, uh, all three. I wish there was another one, but I feel like Andrew Ware needed to. And uh, it might be Harry Potter. Mm. Harry Potter. I don't even really like the movies like that, but in terms of just like. Most iconic. I, yeah, it's like, it's so iconic. That's one of those ones. Oh, and Lord of the Rings. I forgot about Lord mm. of the Rings. See, I never watched. I've never watched Lord of the Rings ever. I saw two of them, but it's just iconic, bro. Like they're, they're like in a world of their own. But for me personally, like Bad Boys, Friday, and um, you know what else is pretty good? What? The uh, what was it? Split. They have a series, Split oh, Glass. Yes. Yeah, that's well, Unbreakable. Yeah. Split Glass. Yeah, that's another good one. That's a yeah, those three right there for me. So if I had to give my top five most iconic, Harry Potter got to be number one. Yeah. Right? It has to. It's, it's only like, right. I can find a group of people who don't know Lord of the Rings. I can find a group of people who never watched The Matrix. They might get the references, oh, but the they Matrix never watched The Matrix is it. also another one, yes. too. I didn't see the most recent one, but I need to. But I don't know anybody on this planet that don't know who Harry Potter is. Facts. Facts. Or even the concept of Harry Potter. So I'm going to go Harry Potter number one. Okay. Um, number two, got to go Bad Boys, bro. Listen. Bad Boys. I can't wait to people, see this next one. <laughs> I, I feel like the nostalgia, people love number two. Yeah. Number three and number four are better than, I think the order from best to worst goes three. Three was good Four, as two, one. Four was that good? Yes. Four was that good? Okay. So three, four, two, one. One was cool. They they put a when you go back and watch it, it's a really good movie. Yeah. Two for sure. I I love two. I can watch Bad Boys two all day, mm -hmm. just because of like, I don't know that nostalgia is crazy. I remember seeing that in the theaters as a kid. For real. Yeah, that was a good. That was a great movie, honestly. Um. So we're gonna go Bad Boys number two. I'm gonna put. Though I've never, I know this sounds crazy, but I've never watched all of the Matrixes. Yeah. But I gotta put the Matrix in there. Matrix is definitely one of those Most ones. Iconic. It's now, three. This is gonna be kind of biased, but we have to. I have to put it in there, and I feel like it was the spawn of the new generation zombie movies, Resident Evil, bro. Resident, Resident, Resident Evil, Evil series. One. I love maybe maybe it's like a guilty pleasure for me, but I've watched every single one multiple times. Yeah. And number five, uh, there's only one answer, man. And it's uh, and it's Toy Story. Oh damn! And it's Toy Story. I think I Toy, forgot Story, about Toy Story. I, I think Toy Story is a the Toy Story series is better than Lion King, in my personal opinion. Yeah. Mm. I can. I can agree. I can't wait to see this next Lion King movie they're about to drop. I'm interested to see how this goes. There's a new one? Yeah, there's another one. It comes out, I want to say December? Uh, Beyonce Daughter's in it. Oh, really? Yeah. Is it like live action again? Yeah, it's live action. I'll be interested to see what yeah. that's about. I like the first one. The The first one they put out was pretty good. It's just, I love the CGI stuff. They did their thing with that. But, yeah. I mean, the story's cool. <laughs> story's I think cool. like... Uh, some of the best universes, it's got to oh, be like shit. The, We've got the Avengers. Yeah, I think they. But see, I don't think you can. I don't think any one of those series is the best though. We left off a major one, Transformers. Transformers. Oh my oh, god. Trans Freak, bro. <laughs> oh, Fast and Furious. Planet Fierce of the Apes. I forgot. Planet of the Apes is definitely up there. It's a lot of good series, bro. Damn. 
Hollywood be cooking. A lot of people Not be for trying to sure. hate. There's a reason why certain IPs do well. Yeah. Over and over and over. Yeah. They got good stories. Bro. They said it's supposed to bring back Avengers, and uh, Robert Downey Jr. said he's ready. He's down to come back as oh, Iron Man. I'm interested to see how that goes. I, it would have to be part of Secret Invasions though, because he died. Yeah. Unless that was the scroll version of him. But I feel like after he died, he would have turned back into a scroll. Yeah. So I don't know. What do you think is the best TV series, top three TV series? Top three TV series. Cause it's some great TV out there. I'm gonna be honest, right now, the whole like power universe. Oh, thank you. <laughs> best television, Money Heist, number one. Oh, Money Heist is For good. sure. Money Heist is one of those. Money Heist, number one. This supposed to be another one, isn't there? I ain't gonna lie, I think Breaking Bad a little overrated. I've tried to get into it. I can't do it. Yeah. I can't do it. You know what else is overrated? Game of Thrones. I sh bro, I fall asleep every single time. Bro, thank you. Bro, and time. everybody in Game of Thrones tell me, wait till season three. If you go two seasons of not, <laughs> not good television, it's not what good. What are we doing? Bro. It's not good. What are we doing? Say, so, yeah. <sighs> what else is up there? Um, what's another one? I'm trying to think of another series. Great TV, great TV. Who has great TV? I feel like Dexter, Dexter was one of my favorite shows. I didn't get into it. Oh, Walking Dead. Oh, yeah. Well, Walking see, I, Dead. After they killed Carl, I stopped watching. Really? I was cooked. They're done. The season where they started, uh, Negan came in? Yeah. That was the last one I watched. For, bro, yeah. when, I remember that I remember that season what finale up of everybody. The Walking Dead <laughs> when they revealed who Negan killed, the TV <laughs> froze for everybody. <laughs> like, I don't know what alien was out there and blocked the like yeah. communications, but I remember I hopped on Twitter and everybody's like, yo, my TV froze. <laughs> this is so crazy. How they gonna do this for the finale? I think it was either that one or when they killed Carl, one of them. Seasons. Yeah. When they killed Carl, that shit was crazy. Yeah. I was like, damn, why he go out like that? That's what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> what did my so man, bro. Bad. <laughs> Carl was supposed to be the one. And see, I feel like they should have kept him alive because they could have kept the series alive because I think they shifted from, uh, what's the dad's name? Rick. Rick to... Uh, Michonne? Yeah. No, not Michonne. Oh, um, uh, motorcycle Daryl. Daryl. Daryl was cool, but like, he didn't need his own shit. I don't think he needed it. I think he was just like a fan favorite. People told me he wasn't in the comic books. He right. was kind of like a write-in. Yeah. So I guess that was like, kind of like the movie's way of kind of pulling the IP away from the yeah. source material. And I'm wrong, Norman Reedus played the hell out of Daryl, but... I just didn't think he could carry that series. Yeah. Like, at all. It's Let's still going on, though, right? Yeah, it's okay. still going. Uh, the Last of Us, also great television. Really? I haven't seen that yet. Great television, great video game. If you haven't... I'm going to have to play. If you haven't played the game, I would suggest at least going to watch the gameplay yeah. and then watch the show. Because it's like, seeing how they... The TV ad adaptation of that boy... It's crazy. It's insane. Mm. It's insane. And uh, old boy that played the Mandalorian, what's his name? I have um, no idea. Can't think of his name. He plays... Star mm -hmm. Wars. How do we oh, leave shit. Star Wars Star out Wars. of the movie series? That's crazy. I ain't gonna lie. I stopped watching Star Wars after uh, three. Oh, wow. It was three or four. Which one was Attack of the, Attack of the Clones? Four. That was four? Yeah, that was my last one. Wow. It's just, uh, the movies be long, bro. Star yeah. Wars be like three, four hours. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I think that's most iconic. But <laughs> did you see that they are trying to put claims on Kai? Bro. For going to um, Northwest. North I'm going to be honest. That is the biggest reach ever. Kim Kardashian makes shit happen for her kids. I'm going to be honest. Yes. And if North says, I want to meet Kai Sinat, what do you think Kim Kardashian is exactly. going to do? And do you not... Put yourself in Kai's shoes. If you can get in the crib with the Kardashians, exactly. I mean, he's already stamped. Don't get me wrong, he's already yeah, stamped. Yeah. But like, if you can get into like good graces with that family, bro, you're you're good forever. Like, yeah, you're good forever. And it's like it's like when uh, Northwest went on stage with uh, who she go on stage with? Um, I forgot who she went on stage with, but like. You can't put those weird claims on somebody just because the parents requested it. But see, I think a lot of people are projecting their own trauma or their own ideologies because when 
Travis Scott hung out with Bronny for his 18th birthday. Nobody said nothing. No, he was 18, be, though. Well, but he was 17 before that. Facts. They already had a relationship problem. Right. Right? Like, or when, when it's a guy, guy, it's okay. When it's girl, girl, it's okay. When it's older girl, younger guy, it's okay. But the world makes it impossible. They act like it's impossible for a adult guy to coexist with, like, a girl. Right. That, like... Everybody's not weird. Yeah, That's everybody's what? not weird. He's, everybody's it's like, not weird. It, it's like a grown adult coming to her birthday party dressed as SpongeBob. She wanted to see a character, something that she loved to see, and she invited... She wanted Kai, and they brought Kai. Parents made it happen. She, like, it was crazy. It was okay for her to be with Ice Spice. True. <laughs> it's okay True. for her to be with Ice Spice, but she can't be with Kai. Kai's not shaking no ass. I'm just being honest. Exactly. Kai's not shaking no ass. And he's not doing anything. Kai any... don't do nothing yeah. to make people think like, ah, do you really this want is... that around your right. daughter? I feel like Kai is probably the safest person right now. Right now because he's got a lot going for him. He's young. Yep. And he got a good head on his shoulders. Yeah. Like, you can see it. Like He just be working. Yeah. Playing freaking stream Elden Ring for seven days. Intermission, you know what I'm saying? The camera's overheated, but we yeah. back. All right, we back. We good, we good. But, um, yeah, they had Northwest with Ice Spice, so I think right. it should be fine. I think uh, the internet just overreacts to everything. That's the yeah. problem. There's too much overreaction to the wrong things. Yeah. <laughs> like, we, we care about the wrong shit too much. That is the biggest problem. Why are we so concerned about Kai going to a birthday party that Kim Kardashian said, oh, come, she wants to meet you? Exactly. But we're still not talking about Diddy. What's going on? True. <laughs> What's going on? Bro, they say every time people bring up Diddy, somebody else get hit with another allegation. Literally. The dream. <laughs> listen, they hit dream. I, I, that that kind of disappeared too. So I don't know if they're yeah. like, look, I could keep doing this. <laughs> who 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 the dream signed to? I don't know. I don't know. Because whoever he signed to, they're like, hey, record company, you want to do this? He writes for Beyonce, mm. so he's probably untouchable. He's probably untouchable. True. But he sold that catalog, though. He sold it. I'm sure that pen still works. Oh, yeah, true. He writes for everybody. It's crazy how many artists, like, that you would never like. I think Dream wrote Single Ladies. Yeah, he did. I think he was, <laughs> what? <laughs> it's crazy as hell. The pen is insane. Yeah. But I think if you're if you're on the level or you're working with some of these people closely, you're never going to get in trouble. Bad. Ever. I don't yeah. think you'll ever get in trouble. But look, I uh, got a tweet of the day, man. Here we go. Here we go. And I um, know what it is. Hold up. No, no, no. I got a couple <laughs> tweets today. So we're going to start with something a little bit more light, all right? This one, uh, main bitch click saying, you fight one celebrity, and if you win, you take all of their money. Who are you fighting? I got to see Bill Gates. I need Bill that one-on-one. -on -one. I need the fisticuffs ASAP. See now, I'm beating the shit out of Bill Gates. For real? I'm whooping Bill Gates' ass. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. I, I don't know them. Them billionaires. They be in like jujitsu. He's and stuff. like 75. Mm -hmm. I kick him in his nuts, get him down to my height, beat the shit out of him. Him or uh, Stephen Hawking. He's dead. I know, but if I could bring him back, I would beat his ass. Was too. he rich like that though? Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. Stephen Hawking has some bread. Elon Musk. I don't know if I would mess with him. I think he's Iron Man in real, in real life. Yeah. So I'm not fucking with him. I'm definitely not trying to see what Mark Zuckerberg got going on. Oh, yeah. I don't want he be with smoke. katanas and stuff. No, no, no. I don't want none of that Mark Zuckerberg smoke. Oh, uh, MySpace. What's Buddy's name? Oh, Tom. I'll beat Tom ass, too. We, we don't know what Tom is. Bro, Tom sold MySpace for like $450 million. And fell off the face of the earth. He, yep. did, he did what everybody should do when you hit the lick like that. Yeah. When you hit the lick, go about your business. Yep. Go hide off somewhere else. Keep your 400 million and your family safe. Yeah. Listen, I think uh, you're trying way too hard. Because um, me personally, Stevie Wonder. Got to see. <laughs> he's, <laughs> out of, he's out of what? He's got. <laughs> <laughs> he got to do what? <laughs> Stevie Wonder got to see me in the ring, man. Yeah, that's a he's fact. He's not seeing shit. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, that's an easy ass whooping. Exactly, bruh. Damn, but he might be on some uh, stink meaner like, shit. <laughs> or, or like um, Daredevil. I think I'm I got it. I'm not... What? what? Daredevil? Yeah. You you would fight Daredevil? No, I oh. said he could be on oh. some Daredevil. I was about to say, oh, no, no, what? No. <laughs> See, I'm going with that. Listen, um, channeling my inner, you know... Uh, do I want to go there? Go there. Listen, um, Oprah was good. Yeah, Gotta I Gotta see lie. Oprah. I'm definitely putting Oprah in a headlock. I know Tyler Perry gonna try to jump out there and protect. All right, I see they 
got their little thing going on. But look, I got Oprah got to see me too. I'm not gonna lie, Tyler Perry is the last person I want to fight because he tried to hunt me. Tyler Perry would definitely try to hump you. Oh, you didn't know? No, I didn't. The sex cult. What? Let me stop talking before I get bammed up. That's crazy. All I'm saying is the Boondocks does not lie. Mm. Hold on, we, we got another. <laughs> now I know you're more into this next one. Okay. Uh, than most may be, but a girl. All right. Um. Oh. Does it say Headzilla? Headzilla. Yo, a girl. <laughs> <laughs> That's her name. H e. What does that say? What is her name? Headzilla. Hidezilla. Hidezilla. Like hi Heidi. Oh, I thought she was like trying to spell head like a different way. Oh no. Nah. I was about to say her, her name is Headzilla. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, because her name's Heidi. All yeah, right, yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. All right. So the Heidizilla says, "Yikes! Would you break up over this?" And shows a picture of a girl with Chris Brown uh, at the meet and greet. Now this girl had a boyfriend, and the boyfriend broke up with her after the picture went viral. And um, two degree key says, I paid my money, one. Number two, the dude is insecure. Three, if y'all wish it was y'all, just say that instead of projecting. I'll choose to take this pick a thousand times, a thousand and one more times. How do you feel about that? I'll be honest. Let's, let's, let's flip the script here. Yeah. Me and her together, I go to a Meg Thee Stallion meet, meet and greet. Yes. I take a picture with her, she puts the ass on my forehead. I don't think most girls would be upset. You don't think so? No. I don't think the average girl would be upset. I think you should flip the script this way, though. You go to the club, all right? If, if this position is not offensive or is acceptable in a relationship, then if I hug one of my friends like that... From the back? <laughs> and I take a picture with them for their birthday... And I'm hugging her from the back. It's crazy. Yeah, it, sh it shouldn't be a problem, right? I'll be honest. I think we know I have a little stain with Chris Brown. Yes. I do think the boyfriend might have reached a little bit breaking up with her. Granted, well, you don't know what Chris Brown's telling her in her ear. If you paid $1,000 for somebody to take a prom pic with you, I'm good, bro. Like, that is kind of crazy. Like some things, That is crazy. Yeah. Now, I, I agree, some people got money, it's her money, you could do what you want. But I can also do what I want with my time and I'm just not gonna be with you. Why? So let me ask you this, did you see the other one? A girl took a picture with Chris Brown and she was engaged. Oh wow. The boy, the fiance bought the tickets for her and she took a picture and Chris Brown, she's literally like, legs wrapped around him, he's cupping the butt. He calls off the engagement. Valid? It's very valid. Like, cause why? Why are you why are you straddling this man Listen, that you don't know? If you if you are going to the store with your girl, yeah, and some girl asks you, hey, can you reach this for me? And you be like, oh yeah, I got you. Uh, thank you. All right. Your girl be like, why you got to do that for that girl? Facts. Right. So if if that that's unacceptable, then you straddling my man like the bull at beer night. Like what? Come on now. What are we doing? I think I think it's very justifiable. I. But let's see. I want to have called off the marriage, though. Yeah, that but is my, crazy. My that is crazy. My back is going to oh, be. I'm going to the next meet and greet with my favorite female no. artist. Oh, no. what are you going to do? We're your friends. That one friend, <laughs> all girls got that one friend. That they don't trust around their man. Exactly. <laughs> And I'm gonna go. Me and her about to become best friends. Oh, we gotta go take a great picture together. Yeah, I'm gonna show you insecurity. Look, don't worry. Don't and worry, I'm gonna we'll post it. it. Yeah, for and sure. And I'm gonna post it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have her get on my back, and we are gonna smile. Facts. <laughs> we are gonna smile hard at the camera, and we're gonna tag you as yeah. well. It was, let's see how you feel about that. But net, net, next drunk, uh, you know when the DJs get in a bag the last 40 mm -hmm. minutes of the club and the music slow down a little bit. Put your arm around her, start singing, <laughs> post it on IG. Come on now. Yeah. Sickness. Yeah, nah. I think I think those are very justifiable actions on the male's behalf. Yeah. But at the same time, it is Chris Brown. Like these girls probably will never get this opportunity in their life again. Granted, I'm not saying it's okay, but there's certain pictures you can take. You don't gotta, you know. So what if what if what if I got the opportunity to take a picture with a ten? Then what? Ten's not taking pictures with everybody. That's the fact. So if I take a can I say, well, Rowe, well, honey, I know you're like a, you're a six, but this 10 wants to flick up with me. Can right. I take the pick? Right. Like, what are we talking about? Because I'll keep it a bug. 
if, girl I'm with, if she did any of those actions on Chris Brown, I'm not going to lie, that's a long conversation we're having. I'm not having no conversation. Oh, he's going to get your get back. Boy, <laughs> I'm going to be like, I'm one of them people like. Oh, bet. <laughs> I, do, I never increase the thing. Yeah. I'm just going to let you know how it felt, then have the conversation with you. Yeah. Because until you feel it, you're not going to understand. It's like how I, I seen somebody on the podcast talking about how, like, men can't be doctors for women because they don't have periods, right? So if I explain a pain to you, you'll never understand. So in my head, that click is, okay, maybe, maybe she might be right. Yeah. So in a relationship, if you do something to me and I try to tell you about it, you're not gonna understand because you didn't feel it. So, you so let me let you first. feel it first. Yeah. And then let's talk about it. That's fair. That's fair, but I'm gonna be honest. You're gonna get more, uh, more backlash and more. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You're gonna have a longer night after that conversation than she was gonna have. Cause <laughs> that night when I go to sleep and wake up, I'm gonna be fine in the morning. Cause I was just, I felt I was justified in all my actions. Touche. Hey, gotta get it back. I would have never done this. I would have never thought this was acceptable. But since you think it's acceptable, well, let, let's, let's see how acceptable, acceptable it is. All right. That's crazy, but. It's very, it's facts. It's yeah. facts. Ladies, if, whoever my next person that I'm in love with, dealing with, you go to a Chris Brown concert and you take a picture, be mindful of that picture. Yeah. Be very mindful because you have a lot of friends. Exactly. <laughs> you have a lot of friends and I'm a very likable guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a very likable guy. I can make anybody laugh. Yeah. So when your friend starts giggling a little Kiki. bit extra... <laughs> Don't get mad at me. It's just your friend, right? And a lot of people would be like, that's that's unhealthy. That's toxic. I mean, you maybe, did it. Maybe. It definitely. But, but, you gotta but feel it's it. not. There's certain things that I would just walk away from. You cheat on me. I'm not cheating back. Yeah. Because I feel like that is a breach. Breach contract. Yeah. <laughs> breach of contract. <laughs> but if you like do something that makes me feel a way that it's like you can do that if you want. But do you really know what you're doing? That's how I feel about it. That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, another tweet. Okay. Another tweet. Uh, apparently, we got some OnlyFans models out here that could be in the NFL. Uh, NFL oh, wow. player ran off on OnlyFans model. Hold on, let me see what her name is. I sent it to you. Um, she has a crazy name, too. Hold up, hold up. I got to pull it up. Where's this shit at? Where's that link I sent you? Oh, here it is. His name was what's this nigga's name? Terrell Lewis. Okay. Terrell Lewis played for the Rams, won a Super Bowl with the Rams. Oh, really? Went and messed with an OnlyFans model. And when he was done doing the deed, mm -hmm. he said, "Oh, it's how much?" Took off out of the room. How much did she say? I think he said 18, 18, 36. Eight, 18, 18 what? Hundred. Dollars and thirty six cents. Eighteen hundred. Eighteen hundred. I for think a that's coochie? for some butt. That's crazy. Oh, my. It's too much free box out here for you to be paying for. Guys that he's pay like for, in the NFL. He's not like league. a rapper where it's right. like, yo, a girl can hurt your status of, you know, who you are. Bro, he You're really an NFL ran player. off. He really ran off. He ran off so crazy. Oh, hold on. The goat's back. Who? Tiana Trump just posted. Posted what? She said, I'm single. Who wants me? I'm finna text her. Did I tell you about the time I almost had Tiana Trump? I almost pulled. Really? Yeah. Tell me about it. So I was in college. I think it was my sophomore year, sophomore or freshman year. I followed her on Snapchat. I didn't pay for it, though. I wasn't paying for it. That was before okay. they were paid subscriptions. I sent her a message, and she responded. I said, is this really Tiana Trump, for real? She said, no, it's fucking Beyonce. I was like, oh, this might be Tiana Trump, for real. Okay. So I started talking to her. I'm like, oh, you, you in Atlanta, right? Yeah, I'm in Atlanta. I was like, yo, let's link. She told me it was 350. Would you have paid the 350? Would you pay the 350 today? Today, no, no. Then college, I pro I was thinking about it. Like I was really collecting my whole like. I was putting my pride aside. I told yeah. myself I would never pay for anything like that. But this is Tiana Trump, and I was young. Yeah. Would I pay for some? No, absolutely not. But to kick it with Tiana and you know get the experience with what Tiana does. Yeah. 19 years old. Uh, let's see what let's see if we can scrum up 350. Yeah. 
And this is before she was labeled this, the GOAT. Yeah. So that happened. She sent me a location and everything. Yes. I couldn't, I didn't get a ride. It might have been a lick. I ain't gonna lie. It might have been a lick, but I got blocked. Tiana, if you're watching this, can you please confirm or deny these allegations? All right? <laughs> he said he was about to, he was about to pay. Yeah. I don't know. It might not have been her, but I'm, the stuff that was being posted, like she was posting in real time. Okay. So like, and this was when Snapchat was fairly new. So like, mm -hmm. people don't really know how to finesse on there yet. So like, she's posting like her every day. And I'm like, yo. Okay. But I seen, I, I, I told, I was sitting at the desk with my home, but my old teammate, I'm going to DM her. I'm going to see what happened. She responded. I was like, oh, shit. 350 straight, though. 350 is not bad. Do you think you can ever um, sell peen to the public? No, absolutely not. I can't. I can't. You say you can? Yes. You can sell peen? Listen, <laughs> Sheik, you ever decide to leave me, I'm going to the highest bidder on the market. <laughs> I'm selling myself like cattle. All right? I'm doing it. I don't know, bro. I just feel like. I just want my mom to find out. That's my biggest thing. Like, I, Bruh. if I'm doing some freaky stuff like Look that. Look over there. You see how big this world is? <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, I'm going to be in places. It's a, it's a whole <laughs> lot over there. <laughs> yeah, it's a whole lot over there that your mom don't know about. Okay? Facts, but I don't know. I just feel like I got too many things on my body, like too many tattoos that say, oh, that's Tion. Oh, no, no, no. I don't mean like oh, as on an OnlyFans. Oh, OK. Would you ever do OnlyFans? No. I, I thought about so. it. But I was gonna. I finesse. would do like some artistic though. I was if gonna it, finesse. What? I had a whole plan for OnlyFans. I had a whole plan. Like when shit started popping, I was like, "Oh, I got an idea." I was gonna like act like I was doing something sexual, but I was really doing something like an everyday house activity. Oh, yeah. So I was gonna be standing at the at the uh, at the stove, mixing up macaroni, but all you see is the top half of me. You should and still my, do that. My shirt's off. And I'm going crazy. All you hear is just the smack I'm making faces and all that. And then the camera zooms out. I'm making macaroni. Yeah, you should do that. <laughs> you should make that a video. I was going to do like a plunger scene. I was going to be plunging, plunging the toilet. But like, all you're going to see is this. Yeah. And I'm going to zoom the camera out. Oh, he's plunging the toilet. Yeah. I, listen, I could have hit the meanest first month lick ever. Because I think if Fox. I posted an OnlyFans link, people are going to tap it and they're going to see what's going on. Yeah. Because there's been a few OnlyFans links that I saw from people that I knew, and I was like, ain't no way she on here doing this. See, I would do something like artistic if my life ever came to that. <laughs> and it'd be like shadows. Like I would take a bright light, flash it, Yeah. take a camera, point it at the shadow, and record like that. So there's no way you're gonna tell who that is <laughs> if nice. I make that. But would I be an escort? For sure. You'd be an escort? For Damn. sure. Selling cock, that's crazy. What are you charging? What, what's one? <laughs> I, I mean, I can't answer this because I'm sold right now. All right, I'm sold. What, what's one night with holla? What does that cost? Um, if you were in that situation, Sheik, I'm so sorry that we're even talking about this right now. Yeah, that's crazy. But she's about to cook me. She's going to kill him. Yeah, it's going to be a long day. <laughs> but um, I would say one hour peen 300 plus mouth 550. Plus mouth, yeah. Yeah. I, ain't gonna, I gotta go up on the mouth. I'm not a. I don't really do that for real. Well, see, I'm gonna scream my clients a little bit. <laughs> like if I walk into your house and I'm like, oh, so you're pulling up? Yeah, yeah I'll pull up for sure. Probably like, uh, probably charge like thirty cent a mile for travel. You know what I'm That's saying? That's smart. That's smart. Um, things like that, there and back too. So. <laughs> Like the U-Haul service, U-Haul gonna smack you with secret you charges every time. With every single charge you ain't never heard of. But um, yeah, I think I think that's what my starting rate until I got my name out there. Yeah. Then I think like I probably just do vacations. Vacations, yeah. okay. Like I'll do like twenty five hundred dollar weekends, five thousand dollar weeks. So you want me to come be the peen machine in Paris? Five thousand plus room and board. You gotta come for come sure. To room and board. And give me the five on top. Yeah. That right. I'm not gonna lie, that's a good gig. That's my clientele, man. That's a great gig, honestly. If if I get down bad, I'm gonna I might I might have to tap into that. That's what I'm saying. But that's a I gotta be. It's down. a lot of like women who got inheritance, they were left their husband's money. Yeah. They built their own money. It's a lot of money out here. It so is. you know. It is. Bad collector. Do you have an age a age uh, limit though? 
Um, I would say between 25 and 65. 65? Yes. I mean, but again, I'm screening my clients. <laughs> the average 65 might not make it. You know what I'm saying? I do believe in discrimination. Okay. <laughs> so, no, no, I'm trolling. I'm trolling. Somebody gonna clip hey, that though. You gonna get kicked. <laughs> Somebody gonna clip that. Hey, though. he said it. I did not say that. That no, was no. him. I do <laughs> believe in um, selectivity. We'll put it that way. <laughs> and some people might not make it. You know? Yeah. You it's it. like an eBay purchase. Facts. Like, I can decline the seller. You can. Be, so. You 100% can. Damn. Would you pay? Oh, you know how women be going across the uh, the world to get shit on? No. You wouldn't go get shit on? Only the peen machine, that's it. I'm not gonna hold you. You're getting shit on for 50K? I, I whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't say me. I didn't say me. But just think about it. A group of women, they're all fine. They said, look, we're gonna fly you out here. You're gonna be our toilet for no, two days. No, 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 nope. They're not shitting on you, they're just peeing on you. And no. all they do is drink water. No. It's not worth that, I don't care. It could be a million dollars. A million dollars? One, one trip, a mil? To get pissed on? You, you know how many women? weeks? You know how many weeks there are in a year? So, uh, fifty-two weeks in a year right. times five thousand is like what, a quarter million. Okay. I'll be the peeing machine once a once a week in a different location. I'm traveling <laughs> the world. I'm eating food, getting paid five bands. Look, they can keep the poop money. They can keep the pee pee money too. I'm not gonna lie. I might get pissed on for a million by women. I don't know if I could do it, bro. Yeah, just, oh, there go your boy right there. <laughs> Who is that? That's Kendrick. Pit, oh. <laughs> hey, why are people still bothering us in the comments on that post? Because they're I crying. I saw you arguing yesterday. <laughs> bro, people are so dumb, bro. <laughs> P people, like, people sit up here and lie and say Drake was the favorite going into the battle. No, he wasn't. No, he was not. <laughs> we all bro, knew he was It has been popular to hate Drake since Best I Ever Had came Literally. Out. <laughs> that's the popular thing to do. The industry, that's why they got so many clips of other artists talking bad about Drake. Literally. Other, Charlemagne called himself a OG Drake hater. How do you think Drake going into this battle had the upper hand? Not besides what? him just being better in his career than Kendrick. You know, I had an argument last night, one of my OGs, talking about Drake's greatness because the, the conversation came up again. They were like, how can you be great, but you mimic and take from everybody else? I was like, you know how great you can be? You know how great you are to go to somebody else's gym, run their gym, leave that gym, go to another one and say, okay, this is how you play basketball. I'm going to play the exact way you do it, but I'm going to do it better and run your gym and kick you out. Like, Drake literally... You should have asked him, <laughs> is Kobe top 10? Oh, he said that. They okay, said... so he's a carbon <laughs> copy of who people think is number... Like, what? Come on now. Then the LeBron topic came up yesterday. LeBron's well, not see. greater than Jordan. Come on now, though. How? But when you bring up the facts and the stats, I say, oh, okay, if he's not greater than Jordan, who's the highest, who's the greatest, uh, who's the all-time leading scorer? LeBron. Okay. Who's top he five? top five in assists? He's top five in everything. Yes. <laughs> who's the best all-around player? Who improves the team the most? People forget when <laughs> this man, um, uh, Michael Jordan had a 62 batting average. The Bulls were almost in the, they were one call away from the finals. Bro, literally went, they won 50 something games. Exactly, bro. Like, what are we talking what? about? What are we talking about? So, I don't like that. I hate the argument. But going back to the Drake thing, Drake has literally stepped into every single lane, mastered that lane, and just gave it back when he felt like yes. it. Yes. Like, who else is doing that? That right there solidifies greatness. They kept, the argument kept going back to, if he's so great, why does he have to copy other people? It's not copying if I'm being better than you. Yes. <laughs> if I'm better than you at what you came in the game doing, I'm greater. <laughs> like what? That makes me great because I can step into any lane and thrive better than you did. And bro, this is your only lane. And this is why I said, bro, Drake, I'm gonna say this again. Drake had the line, Rapping like you're trying to get the slaves free. And then Kendrick decides to throw a festival on Juneteenth. Like, what are we doing, dude? Bro, we doing? my man literally got black struggle in a headlock and is sucking the life out of it. Like, can we do something else, dog? Like, it's crazy. It took for him to get called out by Drake to go speak at a college in Compton. Thank you! <laughs> bro, bro, people see, bro, people see Drake with a picture with Adonis and they're like, Kendrick made him become a father again. You ain't never seen 
no public um you've never seen no public press on Kendrick doing things in Compton. Drake wears a Compton College t-shirt and, and now you speaking out the <laughs> Like what? He I feel like you're trying to get the slaves free. And you know what's crazy? That <laughs> concert didn't just happen. I think Drake put that line in there because he knew what Kendrick was about to do. Oh, yeah. He was about to announce a Juneteenth festival and was like, come on, this look, look, look at look what you're and that's why he made the post. You the one goats don't worry about one trick ponies. Literally, since Good Kid Mad City. Every step of Kendrick's commu- career has been him doing Malcolm X moves. Literally. Bro, come <laughs> on. And, and I get it. It's cool. But at some point, it's like, bro, I used to like listening to Dr. Umar. <laughs> <laughs> but when he, when he started talking about Angel Reese, bro, get, get like, bro, what? Like, what you are we outside doing? of your means. The whole world does not operate like this. Facts. Like, oh, I'm glad you brought up Angel Reese. I know you saw Caitlin Clark just had her way against them last oh, yeah. night. Oh, yeah. Beat the score in the game. Beat, yeah. beat, beat the... Uh, the uh, the sky. Yeah. Beat the... Well, I guess I beat the shit out of him, but she was hooping. I think she had, what, yeah. 20, 25? 20, 30, 25, 23. 20, something like that. Yeah. Angel Reese, flagrant foul. Yeah. But I'm going to be honest. They shouldn't have called a flagrant, though. If it was Draymond... That's what I'm going to say. If it was Draymond <laughs> Green, they would have called it. So. Oh, for sure. Exactly. But I don't, I don't think that was a flagrant, but... I'm loving, I'm loving seeing this competitiveness from the women. For sure, I love it, and I feel like this is the first time I actually really cared about uh, the WNBA in a mm-hmm. long time. Like when my mom was there, I was tapped in. Facts. But now, oh. Caitlin Clark is changing these women's lives. Literally, I don't know how they still losing 50 million on the season though. Did you see that? They said the WNBA is set to lose 50 million. For sure, I, I believe that. You know what else is crazy? How do you leave Caitlin Clark off the Olympic team? Exactly. That is outrageous. And people are going to say, well, she's not good enough. But what it, what it did for the sport would have been amazing. You take Kaylin Clark to the Olympics in Paris, the WNBA is going to get so much more exactly. traction. Because it's like, oh, my God, we've been wanting to see this girl for so long. Now, I'm going to be honest, I don't know how many of those games I'm going to watch. I exactly. Probably, I watched the gold medal game. I watched that. Yeah. That's about it. But Have the women been winning the gold medal? Yeah. Okay. The yeah. women are good. The women are really good. I mean, don't get me wrong. They put together a mob. Like they got yeah. a great team. But let's let's be honest. We could have left Brittany Griner off. And I would have put Kaylin there. I understand they're gonna say, oh, we need a big man, we need a center. Yes, but Yeah. She just got back. Just got back from I didn't even know she was allowed to leave the country. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> I didn't know Oof. that. I didn't know that. She just got back, bro. We traded. What country is the Olympics in this year? Paris. Paris. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I mean they might pull some strings or something or there might be some parts of the uh her case that i don't really know too much about but yeah i just didn't think she'd be able to leave the country and then on top of that if they play russia that's gonna look crazy yeah that's gonna be insane <laughs> that's gonna look so crazy <laughs> she's gonna have a monster game though yeah she's brittany grind i had a game in her life they play russia bro i think like people would just have to give caitlin Clark her credit like yeah. people are talking about if you take if you take angel reese out People might not be talking about the WNBA as much because there's no rivalry. Yeah. But the boost would have still been there. For you sure. take out Clayton Clark, the drop off, the it's magnitude of what she's done is just the most. Bro, Kaylin Clark has literally forced WNBA teams to play in bigger arenas. Yep. Like when they when uh the fever come play here, they're not playing in College Park, they're playing in State Farm. That's crazy. <laughs> they're playing State Farm Arena just to make sure that they have enough capacity to because fill the, yeah. we want to see who we want to see Kaylin. we want to see somebody shoot we want to see a girl shoot from the half court oh god because <laughs> i don't care about putbacks and i don't i'm not going to a game to watch putbacks and, and good rebounds. offense I'm sorry. that's that's just the truth of the basketball that's, okay? that's a fact people watch people watch the nba for dunks and highlights three pointers <laughs> Crossovers. Yes. Those are the three main and blocks highlights. and blocks and blocks. Occasionally, who's looking up, bro? You look up block compilation <laughs> and you look up handles compilation, dunk compilation, and shooting compilation. All three of those are going to be way. It's the re, the same reason is why Wilt Chamberlain is it as high on people's greatest of all time. The way he played the game, people just didn't care to watch. It was literally just Scott <laughs> the whole time. Bro, no, 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 that was Kareem. No, no, it was literally over the shoulder. Oh, he's yeah, here, true. he's here the whole time. Or aggressive-ass layups. Yeah, dunk, <laughs> boom, Will Chamberlain. 
boom. Like, okay, how many times am I going to see you? The same dunk. Go yeah, do a same. windmill. Like, yeah. Show me some shit. But like, the WNBA, uh, once we get a girl in there that's coming down a lane dunking shit like this. Yeah. Yo, yo. <laughs> one, one, <laughs> one of the um, Twitter pages, they posted, they were like, um, Angel Reese fast break dunk. I clicked on it. Yeah, it was probably in a... Oh, did she airball a no, layup? No, no, It was like a layup. But Man. Like, I was like, they, they cooked me, though. They cooked me. They I got my ass. Shit, I seen one. Uh, it was like Caitlin Clark does a crazy-ass move. She's like in front of the rim and airballs. Yeah. So I'm like, okay. Oh, yeah, They're just trolling. That. They're just trolling at this point. But like, I can't wait to see, like... I can't wait till we get that girl that comes into the league and, like, is dunking shit for real. Yeah. Like, when Brittany Griner did it the first few times, it was cool. Yeah. But, like, I'm getting sick of seeing the same, like, the same one-hand dunk. Like, it's cute. Yeah. It's cool. You're a woman. I appreciate you doing that. I think she's the only one who... Per Caitlin produces a product that people want to... Even Aja Wilson. She is the best player in the league. But I don't know that I've seen many things that made me click and, like, let me watch this highlight real quick. Yeah, like, I mean, don't get me wrong. She can definitely go. Like, yeah. She's going to score prolifically, but, like, it's not, like... I'm not watching it and being like, damn, she's getting a bucket. Yeah. Like, she's not, huh, 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 drop, no. Yeah. I've seen Kaylin Clark drop three people already. Yep. <laughs> she's a rookie. <laughs> so I wish people would just be more grateful for what's in front of them. Right. I like to see people to be the best that they are. And I like to be honest about it. Yeah. This person is better. They're yeah. better. And it's okay to say that. You... you can say she might get a little more pushed than she would, like, if she was black, you could say that, but I can't, I can't even, even say, say that. that for basketball. I can't even say that. If Kaylin, if Kaylin Clark would have been a black girl shooting from half court, we're, do, we're on the same shit. We're Facts. like, oh my God, she's pulling from half court. Yeah. She's doing everything. Because when you look at men's basketball, you had Mikey. Yeah. Where Mikey was a, a millionaire before he even. Before he was a senior in high school. Exactly. This man had a Rolls Royce or whatever. You even know, you got. You, um, what's the dude from Maine? Uh, Flag. Cooper Flag. Cooper Flag. Yeah. A bucket. Tough. But he get, I feel like he get like a little bit less recognition. Yeah. Then. Ooh, he get. Then Cooper Mikey Flag Williams. is OD. <laughs> Mikey Williams at his peak got way more recognition than Cooper Flag. You don't think so? I would say yes, just because. He was tapped in with like social media heavy. Yeah. Cooper Flag's not no big social media presence. Like he on there, but he's not doing what Mikey was but, doing. But that's the same <laughs> thing though. Yeah. And, um, Angel Reese, she do collabs. She, she um, what are they called? Like brand yeah. partnerships. Yeah. She was with the Skims. Like oh, she does things. So if it was true that it was like this black white thing, it will also show in Cooper Flag and all his peers. True. But it doesn't. True. So, but then I think also Cooper Flag and the difference between Cooper Flag and Mikey, Cooper didn't care about the extra shit. He just want to hoop. Yeah. Mikey was on the extra shit. Yeah. Like Mikey was like, okay, let me go get this babe deal. Let me go be in a video with Drake. Let me go do all this, do this, do this, do this, do that. Cooper Flag's like, bro, I just want to hoop. Yeah. Like he's just hooping. Sounds like Angel <laughs> Reese and Caitlin Clark. To and me. literally, yeah. So like. If they, if those two were on that, like, just imagine if Caitlin Clark was this huge personality. Yeah. She'd be even bigger. Mm -hmm. She'd be probably the, she'd be the biggest female athlete ever. If she was on time like that. If she, yeah. if we took Angel Reese's social media presence and gave it to uh, Caitlin Clark. Exactly. With Caitlin Clark's skill set. Oh my God. It would be over with. <laughs> She'll be cooked. And if she was talking shit too, did, did you see um Charlemagne talk to uh, old buddy? I, I don't know his name. Um, I forgot his name. But he was basically asking him like, "Well, why do you think people got to stop running with talking points and talk about what's going on?" Yeah. Oh well, if she was black, then she would have got less. Than, you can say, but let's look about this specific thing right here. What is true? And that does not apply to this. No. And it's okay to say that sometimes. It doesn't. It literally doesn't. I, I hate that race was even brought into it. Let's just call a spade a spade. Kaitlyn Clark is a better basketball player than Andrew Reese. A better draw. <laughs> produces better highlights. Yeah, like, I'm not, I don't want, like you said, I don't want to watch in the p post catches and, and ones the whole time. Yeah. I want to see the shots from 
shoot some threes. Like, Facts. Give me some shit to get excited about. When I watch Kalen Clark, I, I'm waiting on something spectacular to happen. Exactly. When I watch Angel Reese, I'm like, okay, she's gonna get her 10 and 12. Yeah, you know, you know her stat <laughs> line's gonna be like, oh, you did good. Yeah, like you, you played great basketball. You did what your team needed you to do to put them in position to win. Exactly. Kaitlyn Clark's doing things to like, okay. Make people stand up out their chair. Yes. Like in the second quarter. Yeah, shit, the first game of hers, I was so hyped to see what she was about to do. Like, yeah. what is she about to do? What's her first shot gonna be? And she did not disappoint. Yeah. <laughs> she did not disappoint. When she hit that first logo three, it was like, oh shit. Yeah, she She's really here. liked that. <laughs> She's here. And like, it's just, I don't know. It's I don't like that we're bringing race into it because that's not what it is. It's not what it is at all. You can, people can try to say, oh, it's because she's white. No, the girl can hoop. Let's yeah, just, she can. Let's just say what it is. She's a better basketball player. She does more for her team than Angel Reese does. Bro, I see people talking about that don't even watch basketball, that don't even know basketball. Facts. Like, I'll be different if, like, it was people who actively know what basketball is. Right, like, especially women's basketball. Product, yeah. It's way different. It's no, way I think even different. if you just knew basketball, I think you could have an honest conversation. Yeah. But it's people who just look at they've already been fed the narrative. Oh, Caitlin Clark, white girl, doing better than black girl only because she's white. That's what they read. And now they're basing all their assumptions off of that instead of just... Just looking at it for what it is. like. Exactly. I'm going to say it again in the camera. Caitlin Clark is a better basketball player than Angel Reese. I stand, I stand on that. And yes, Angel Reese is great. Don't get me wrong. She's mm -hmm. really good. She's really good. She does what she needs to do for her team. To win, yeah. Caitlin does everything. Yep. <laughs> Literally everything. And is damn good at doing everything. So mm -hmm. I digress on that. That's a fact. Well, listen, we had a W episode. Look, we're not going on no more two, three week hiatuses. Facts. The move uh, is done. Yes, the move is done. <laughs> well, actually, he's going to LA in a couple weeks. So, you know. We can double up. We can double up the week before. Yeah. Or I can just, we can film, we can we can film on that Friday. Yeah. Before I leave. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah. So. Y'all let us know how y'all feel about this down below. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff. Head over to his channel. You know, we gaming now. All right. Facts. We gaming. My man's about to become a DJ. Uh, oh, the journey is going to be documented. Yeah. And college football is about to come out. The game? Are you, you going to be on I'm that? tapped in. I'm tapped in. Mm. I'm going to have a dynasty, online dynasty. I think we have 40 people in it. Oh, really? I think it's 40 people. Um, if you want to play, hit me up. Oh, All right? The Hellcats have come out. It's time for us to <laughs> it's go. It's time for us to head out. Uh, but we'll see you all a little bit later. Peace. Happy birthday again. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs>